1996, 60 years after she would have won some gold medals, she was invited to the Atlanta Olympics. At the Atlanta Olympics, if you remember, Muhammad Ali lit the cauldron to open up the Atlanta Olympics. Right after that, Gretel Bergman was given a gold medal by the Olympic Committee. Why? They knew she would have won at least two, probably three gold medals in Berlin. And to right or wrong, 60 years later, Gretel Bergman got her gold medal. Gretel just passed away, 103 years old. She was a track and field coach in Queens, New York. She faded into obscurity. Nobody knew who her past, what her past was because she was Margaret Lambert. She was not Gretel Bergman. She changed her first name and took her husband's married name. She came back into consciousness when I interviewed her. It wasn't because I interviewed her, although I'd love to take credit for it. She came back in 1993 when all of a sudden people started looking into Gretel Bergman and whatever happened to her. And by 1996, she got her medal. I do recommend Gretel Bergman. That was, I think, in 2002. Glickman was in 2014, 2015. If you want to know more about both of them, Bergman, Hitler's Pawn, and just Glickman. Now, there was no Olympic. Oh, I forgot about Wolfgang Funster. Ever hear of Wolfgang Funster? First. Nobody in here has ever heard of Wolfgang Funster. First. And you shouldn't have heard of Wolfgang Funster, except he was the Olympic village coach in Berlin. And there were rumors during the Olympics that he had Jewish blood in him. And that, of course, was not a good thing. He was the vice commander of Berlin's Olympic village during 1936. Funster committed suicide with a pistol shot on August 19, 1936, three days after the end of the Olympics. Why? He came out, he had a Jewish grandparent. And he killed himself because all of a sudden he's carrying the Nazi banner and found out he was Jewish and he would have been a part of that. We got to lessen the rights. In 1939, of course, Germany invaded Poland, and that sets up the war. How many of you are going to Omaha Beach? How many of you going to look at Brest? Now, three of the next four ports were destroyed by the Germans, Brest, Cherbourg, and Rotterdam. And if you're going to go through Rotterdam, you're going to still see some of that damage because the Germans threw everything at the port of Rotterdam, everything. Germany, of course, invades Poland on September 1st, 1939, and the Olympics stop. By the way, I just want to one shout out for my profession. The woman who broke the story that Germany invaded Poland was somebody by the name of Claire Hollingsworth, who also just passed away at the age of 107. It was a woman. Now, we are so macho in my business, the guys are so macho in my business, it was a woman who broke the story World War II started. Just chalk that up. Anyway, uh, there's no Olympics in 1940, and there's no Olympics in 1948. They resume in 1948 in London and San Moritz, both in Europe. Marty Glickman never got a chance to run again. By the time he was able to run, which would have been 1948, he was 30 years old. That's over the hill in the track and field business. Sam Stoller was also 31 years old, over the hill in 1948. And Gretel Bergman was certainly over the hill in 1948. They never fulfilled their Olympic dreams. And I asked each one of them about that, and Gretel was not bitter. Sam was on the fence, but Marty Glickman was totally bitter about his experience in 1936 the rest of his life till his dying day. He felt something was taking away from him. Now, 